Welcome to our channel. Today, we're discussing a hot topic that's on the minds of football fans worldwide. Paul Pogba, the Juventus star and French international, has announced that his nightmare is over after his ban due to doping violations was reduced. You remember well, in September 2023, Pogba was banned for four years after a doping test revealed elevated testosterone levels in his blood. This hormone is known for its ability to enhance endurance and physical performance. But what happened next? In a surprising turn of events, the Court of Arbitration for Sport reduced his ban to only 18 months, allowing him to return to training in January 2025. Pogba described this moment as the end of the nightmare and expressed his gratitude to the judges who listened to his explanation. Pogba insisted that he never intentionally violated the rules and that he used nutritional supplements prescribed by a doctor. But can we believe that? In the world of football, questions remain about how players manage their supplements and how this can affect their performance. Reactions have been mixed. Some welcome Pogba's return, considering him a victim of a harsh system, while others see this as undermining the seriousness of anti-doping efforts. Do you think this will open the door to further debate about the application of these rules? Pogba now has a chance to return, but what about his future in football? With age on his side, will he be able to regain his previous level? Or will the pressure of returning affect him? Let us know in the comments, do you agree with the reduction of the ban? Should the anti-doping rules in football be re-evaluated? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us for more news and controversial analyzes in the world of sports.